middle school, an ordinary school filled with ordinary kids with all the ordinary problems of growing up. But in my case, life was anything but ordinary. You see, I was raised by bugs. Get the picture? Out of the ordinary fairy tale without the fairy. A family that seems a little scary. A world with perfect peace. to celebrate Mother's Day than through the gift of poetry. Who'd like to be the first to share their Mother's Day poem with the rest of the class? Mr. Bentley? Take no prisoners, Budge. Oh, to be five again when Mama said goodnight. Snuggled in her cozy arms, everything felt right. Yuck. Into her loving eyes that glowed so warm and bright. And after she had closed the door, her smile was my nightlight. Very touching indeed, Mr. Bentley. Nah, you're such a pest. I really must call my own mother one of these years. Next, a volunteer. Baby, we call him. Bug off, man. Miss Creature? <laughs> mother, proud, strong, beautiful mother. See what you want, grab it, bite its head off, snap! In your powerful jaws, crunching limbs, torso, victim helpless as its life drains. Crunching, crunching, crunching! Glowing with a hunger never satisfied, Mother. Creature, a moment, please. Creepy creature, student ID number 24601. Dr. Pappas asked me to read this poem of yours, and I have to say I agree with his assessment that it is more than a little alarming. Thank you. A responsible educator can never be too careful with the delicate psyche of the emerging adolescent. <laughs> So, I would like to administer a little test to get to know you better. Test? I didn't study for any test. No, 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 child. This is not a test you study for. It is what we call creative visualization. Just sit back and relax. Now, tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. A drain fly. A mosquito sucking blood. Head lice. A spider web. Deer tick. Stink bug. Host. Fire ant. Two cockroaches fighting over a hunk of rotting meat. Very interesting. Thank you, Creepy. You may go now. Creepy. 
Holly, don't talk with Caterpillar in your mouth. Sure, Mom. So, did everybody dig your Mother's Day poem? <laughs> yeah, it was a real scream. Oh, she takes after you, love bug. I am so proud of you. We have a real poet in the family. Group hug! Yeah! Pop quit. History. <gasps> this is worse than I thought. Okay, Creepy. I know you must be feeling a tremendous amount of pressure, but that's normal for children your age. How many times do I have to tell you, watch out for the sticky paper? <laughs> intervene with troubled youth like yourself. If we just discuss this calmly, you'll see there's no need to jump to conclusions. <gasps> Did I say jump? No, 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 that's not what I meant. <gasps> Thank goodness. I can't breathe. Breathe. Child. You have nothing to worry about anymore. Oh, Ms. Montserrat's in charge now. I'm taking you straight home to talk to your parents. Uh-oh, parents. <laughs> so tell me about your mother. Your poem makes her sound fierce and overbearing. Only if you're small. Are you saying your mother makes you feel small? Actually, I'm the tallest in my family. <laughs> This is where you live? I always thought this old house was abandoned. Mm. Ms. Montserrat, um, there's something you should know. I don't exactly look like the rest of my family. What a curious piece. Well, whatever they look like, I will see them for who they really are. Nothing will escape my keen powers of perception. <laughs> What was that? Just Aunt Rose. Low-carb diet. So, are your parents often gone when you come home? My parents? Uh, the thing is... I mean, my mom is... Right here. Surprise, darling. Mom? Ms. Montserrat, I've heard so much about you. You'll have to forgive my appearance, but I've come down with a case of German cockroach measles, so please don't get too close. Mrs. Creature, I'm here today out of concern for your daughter. I assume you've read her Mother's Day poem? Oh, yes. I never knew Creepy felt that way about me. We are all very concerned about the imagery in the poem. Mothers biting heads off helpless victims. Is there some kind of mother-daughter conflict we should know about? Creepy's always looked up to me. More or less. We have a wonderful, loving relationship. <laughs> Hmm, evidence of affection in family psychodynamic? So, how do you explain the crunching, the hunger? You know how lively dinner can be with a large family, but... What I think Creepy is really saying in her poem is that she sees me as a strong woman. I think it's so important for the young women of today to have strong female role models. I see. And I totally agree. I consider myself the same kind of role model. Firm, but fair. Oh, yes. Very important to let them know who's boss. And really, it's for their own good. Uh, how better to prepare them for the day they emerge from the cocoon and fly from the nest? Mrs. Creature. Call me Carolina. Carolina. Creepy is lucky to have a mother like you. Gas.
Yes, a little milk of magnesia should help that. I hear there's a stomach bug going around. Oh, you mean Uncle Bert. Thank you for your time! Shoo! Shoo! Oh, bugs are such filthy creatures! I know a wonderful exterminator! Ta-ta! Adios. You're one vicious role model, Mom. Gesundheit. Hey! Hey! Has anybody seen Aunt Rose? Another job well done, Montserrat. Nothing escapes my keen powers of perception. When I read my Mother's Day poem, I exaggerated a little. A praying mantis doesn't really bite its victim's head off. It's even better. The mantis bites its victim's thorax to paralyze it. Good thing Mom's on a strict no friends and family diet. <laughs>